Hello, hello, this is DM Clint, D&D for the kids, and another uh, short Roll20 tutorial for the kids. Uh, a lot of you, uh, a lot of you were struggling last time. You had physical character sheets, you had the character sheets in Roll20 that ended up covering your whole screen, you were rolling physical dice, you were rolling online dice, and you weren't really sure how to make things work. So I wanted to talk about this hot bar right up here and how to get things on it. So we're gonna take this guy right here and we are going to go over to our journal tab. We are gonna click on his character sheet. We're gonna open it right up. And today we're going to have him make a wisdom save. So we're gonna go ahead and click on wisdom right off of his character sheet. And that rolls the dice, which is great that you can do these things right off the character sheet. But the character sheet does cover up the whole screen. And I might ask him to make saves a lot. Like, that might be one of the normal things that he has to do. But we're going to go up here, and we're going to go to Attributes and Abilities. And we're going to add one. So in the chat, we're going to come down here and hit the up arrow. And then we need to select all copy. And you can obviously do that with key commands. That's how I would normally do it, but for the sake of this video, I'm making sure you can see everything that I'm doing. Next thing we're going to do is add an ability. And we're going to come down here and we're going to make it a token action. And we are going to call it S-A-B-W-I-S. So I like to put save in front and that just keeps all my saving throws together because it goes in alphabetical order. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to paste that code. Hit the little check mark. And now let's test it out. We'll go up here, we'll click off our token. We'll click back on our token. And there it is. There's the wisdom save. Click it. And it works. Good luck. Great gaming. Don't forget to be awesome.